Now, in Shelley's standard on procrastinating debtor, now what is a procrastinating debtor? A procrastinating debtor is someone who has the ability, but he's not paying. He's just delaying without any reason. Now, this is something that Allah, the, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has considered is a zulm. He said, matalul ghaniyi zulmun. The procrastination of a rich, of someone who can pay, is considered zulm. Oppression. Oppression on whom? Of course, on the creditor. The one who gave you the money, the one who lent the money or the one who uh, sold something but hasn't been paid yet, he is being oppressed if the debtor, the one who is supposed to pay, is not paying on time, even though he is able to pay. So this is the base hadith of this whole Shay standard. Now you will see there are a few more things discussed. Uh, we only have highlighted few. So one is, for example, the procrastinating debtor is liable uh, the actual cost of debt collection. The procrastinating debtor is liable for the actual cost of debt collection. So if there is any legal measure that has been taken by the creditor to collect the debt or that the, the creditor has to appoint someone, so those actual costs, the actual cost that has been uh, uh, undertaken, will be the liability of the debtor, not the creditor. Undertaking to donate is allowed with conditions and penalty charge is not allowed. Now, when there is a delay in payment, when there is a default in payment, now, of course, if he is uh, someone in need, he cannot pay on time, uh, etc. Then, of course, then, of course, we have to uh, basically give him some concession based on the hadith and based on the verses. Uh, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned وَإِن كَنَ ذُو عُسْرَةٍ فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى مَيْسَرَةٍ However, if he is a procrastinator, uh, a procrastinating debtor, he's just taking time, he's just making excuses. In that case, usually what is being done is penalty is being charged. Now, when we charge penalty on a payment, on a, a payment that has already become a default, uh, in, it become a debt, it become a dain. In that case, any penalty charge would be a riba, would be a, a, a interest, which uh, is not Sharia compliant, and hence it has to be channeled to a charity. But now, what is the best way to deter a, a procrastinating debtor? We will find that there could be many different ways. There could be um, blacklisting the debtor, and there could be some other repercussions which can be made. But let's say if someone is insisting that, no, this is the only way we can deter a procrastinating debtor. So in that case, Ayofi and the Sharia standards have said, okay, what the debtor can do, he can, in a separate uh, document, he can undertake to donate a lump sum, or it could be a percentage of the defaulted amount uh, to donate to the charity fund of the IFI. Now, what is the difference between charging a penalty and undertaking a donate to donate, you can see the outcome is same. Both has to go to charity fund, right? However, there is a fundamental difference. When we are charging a penalty, we are saying if you default, then this is the penalty you have to pay. Initially, that penalty goes to the IFI's fund as a revenue, and then it is charged by, uh, given to charity. So that makes a link. Uh, that makes the initial link to riba. Meaning that, in other words, it's like IFI, IFI is saying, I'm okay to take the riba, but later on I will give, I will pay the riba to the charity. Now, Sharia has uh, prohibited even contracting the riba, even having riba in the contract. We know there is a very popular hadith where Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has cursed, La'ana Rasulullah riba wa mukilahu wa shahidahi wa katibahu. He has cursed the one who takes riba, pays riba, witnesses the contract of riba, or writes the contract of riba. So all the four parties related to a riba contract are cursed. So we cannot even sign the riba contract. We are not allowed to do that as well. This is the same like some people ask us, can we use a conventional credit card and we will pay on time? The answer is when you are uh, taking the conventional credit card, 
what are you signing for? You are signing for that I will pay interest if I don't pay on this and this amount of time. So it's a RIBA contract. Even though you are not paying RIBA, it itself is something being prohibited, right? So that's the main difference. When we are putting penalty in the contract, it makes it RIBA from the very beginning. When we are saying it's an undertaking to donate, it's not a contractual obligation uh, between the debtor and the create, uh, their creditor. That is it's a separate undertaking uh, which will directly go to charity, which will serve the exact same purpose of deterring the procrastinating debtor, but it will not be considered as RIBA. Hopefully this is clear. So let's move to the next part. This session was brought to you by Taif and Adil. Uh, if you have uh, benefited from it, please share in your social media platforms about both entities and share the word, spread the word. Jazakum Allah khairan. 